Okay, so hold on. I wrote something down. I wrote this. I wrote this, but I didn't memorize it, so I gotta read it off the the paper. I just wrote this last night, so just bear with me. Um. So check it out. Of all the things that I don't remember about 2002. I have a very clear memory of the first time I met 50. Um, and I think one of the things I noticed when he, when he first walked into the room was his presence, right? Because it just kind of felt like he's gonna be a star. Like just his, the way he carried himself, swagger, everything. Like, I don't know. It just seemed like he was the whole package. Yeah. And what's crazy about it to me is his, the, the, the charisma and the personality, like, matched, everything matched the intensity of his music. You know, and that first album is so classic. And the first time I met Fifth, I, I was, you know, so excited to meet him. So I was just like, I started rapping all his songs to him. <laughs> and I didn't really let him talk, you know. And uh, I kind of was trying to show him, like, how into him I was, right? But I think I might have probably overdid it. <laughs> um, but at this time, 50 was like, at this point, I had considered myself driven, right? Until I met him, and I was like, yo, this guy, he was putting out mixtapes, it seemed like every single week, there was another mixtape, he was taking other people's beats and he was destroying them, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so check it out. I just, I knew that the, the dude sitting in front of me, sitting across from me was just different, right? It just seemed like, I don't know, man. Something, just, something about him just drew you in. And I think Dre and me knew that if it was going to work, if it worked on us, that it was going to work on the rest of the world. And I'm glad we trusted our instincts. So... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, so as we're leaving that meeting, me and Dre were talking, and Fifty was walking away. And Dre leans over to me, and he's like, "Yo, you think <laughs> you think that limp is permanent? <laughs> you should ask him." <laughs> and I was like, "Well, I gotta ask him." And we're glad it was not permanent. <laughs> and um, I just want to say, man, I'm, I'm here today because this is not only like a business partner to me. It, it, it's one of the best friends I've ever known in the world. And I would say that it's much more fun to be his friend than it is to be his enemy. Because this guy is fucking relentless. And he won't stop. And the same way that he's relentless in his battles, he's also relentless in his business. He's an artist, an entrepreneur, an actor, a director, a producer. He can juggle. He's great at Scrabble. He pretty much does it all. And he's also helped me through a lot of hard times in my own life. And he's always been there when I need him. So 50, congrats on your star, man. Hollywood is making official what I knew from the beginning and Dre knew from the beginning. Thank you.